In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform an SEO analysis on your website. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. Today, we're going to talk about how to perform an SEO analysis on your website. I'm not going to spend too much time today talking about why you would want to do this. If you're watching this video, you probably already know why. But in a nutshell, it's to help you find issues and things in your SEO endeavors that may be preventing your content from ranking as well as it could in Google. So the first thing we're going to do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All-in-one SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you have All-in-one SEO installed, let's head on over to the All-in-one SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says Dashboard. And front and center here, we can see the SEO site score. This site has a score of 67 which is good, but not great. Ideally, we want to be over 70. So this is a decent score. If you want to see what you can do to improve that score, you can click on the link here that says Complete Site Audit Checklist. Or alternatively, if we head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left, there's a link towards the bottom of that menu that says SEO Analysis. Either one of those links will take you to the same place. So the first thing we see here right in the middle of the page is the overall site score. Uh, so there is room for improvement because obviously we want to strive for a 70 or above. So below the site score, there's a section that says complete SEO checklist. And this can be broken down by the tabs below that that say all items, important issues, recommended improvements, and good results. I'm going to leave it on the all items tab so we can see everything together. So. The first section here says basic SEO. I know it says basic SEO, but this is probably the most important part of this page. Keep in mind, everything you see here is about the home page on your website. This is not about the individual posts and pages. They have their own SEO score. So this score of 67, this is referring to your overall site, which is mainly your home page. So the first one is telling me my SEO title is set and it's nine characters long. So I have a green check because everything is okay there. The second one, I'm getting a red X because there is no meta description for my page. So I need a meta description. I'm not going to fix this yet. I'm going to show you how to fix things after we go through this section. Below that is an item that says one H1 tag was found on your page. So that gets a green check mark. And then below that, it's telling us no H2 tags were found on the page. And this one is not quite getting a red X because some pages don't have H2 tags on them. So it's not quite the requirement that the meta description is. This is more of like a warning, like we should be seeing some H2 tags, but an acknowledgement that not all pages have H2 tags on them. Below that, it's telling us that some images on the page do not have an alt attribute. So that definitely gets a red X. 
Below that, the page has the correct number of internal and external links. So that's very good. The section below that says advanced SEO. I'm not going to go through every one of these in this video, but it's the same concept as above. Green check mark means you're doing things correctly, and a red X means you need some work on those things. The section below that says performance. So this has to do with your server and your web hosting environment. So the first one here, I'm getting a red X. It's telling me my server is not using expires headers. Uh, JavaScript appears to be minified. That's good. Not all the CSS files are minified. That's not good. Uh, it's making 47 requests. That could be cause for alarm. And the HTML document is 134K, which is over the recommendation of 50K. But the response time is good at 0.2 seconds. And then below that, there's a section on security. And again, this has got more to do with your web server than anything else. But it's telling us directory listing is enabled on the server. So that's not good. Google has not flagged the site for malware. That's good. That would be really bad if they had. And the site is using a secure transfer protocol, HTTPS. Okay, so we've gone through the whole list. I want to scroll back up here and show you guys that you can get more information on any of these items. So. The first one's talking about my SEO title. If I click on this arrow on the right here, I get a little drop down and it gives me more information about the title of the page. There's also a button here where I could edit that title. Everything's good here. I have a green check mark, so I'm not going to do that. But if you had a red X here, we have a convenient button here that takes you exactly to where you can fix the item that's on the list. So I can show you that with the second one because I do have a red X on meta description. And if I click the little arrow and get this to drop down for more information, I get a blurb of information here about the importance of a meta description. And then I have a big blue button that says edit your meta description that can take me right to where I need to fix it. So for the H2 tags here, if I click the little arrow and drop down for some more information, it gives me some info on H2 tags and why you should have them in your content. This is one of the most powerful features of our all-in-one SEO plugin, this huge audit of basically your entire site with a focus on the things you can fix on the home page. But it just gives you so much detail on things you can be doing better that even if you're a seasoned SEO expert, some of this stuff is going to slip through your fingers. So it's like having a robot working for you, analyzing your website and showing you what you can do to make it better from an SEO perspective. So if that wasn't enough, there's also a tab at the top here that says analyze competitor site. And you can do it the same kind of thing on one of your competitors to see what they're doing wrong and right from an SEO perspective and use that information to figure out what you can be improving for the SEO on your site. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but if you stick around, I'll uh, drop a link to it in the end of this video. So that's how to perform an SEO analysis on your website. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video, as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to perform a competitor SEO analysis. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.